In this video, we'll explore the mathematical language routine, CoCraft Questions. Before diving into the routine, we want to first outline what you can expect from us during our time together. We'll introduce CoCraft Questions and then model the routine. We'll offer a guide to the routine and connect you to resources for future in Korean practice. In order to make this the best experience for you, while viewing this video, we suggest you do the following. Pause at critical reflection points to give yourself time to think. Pair this learning with the guide and note catcher, the provided resources that go along with this information. Additionally, we encourage you to experience this video with a coach, colleague, and or PLC. Collaborating with others can help to identify ways to make this routine easier to implement and increase student buy-in. And finally, learning is a journey. Come back to this video as many times as you need to grow. Equitable algebra instruction requires us to engage all students' thinking through positioning them as sense makers and valued contributors in mathematics learning. One method to not only spark curiosity and interest while also prioritizing student voice is a multi-step academic routine called CoCraft Questions. So what does this routine entail? Think of CoCraft Questions as having three criteria, mathematical language, questioning, and cognition. When you apply all steps of the routine, you engage students in all three. Specifically, one, the teacher leads students to progress to the mathematical learning goal through the use of mathematical language. Two, the teacher leads students to deeply understand a mathematical task through producing and analyzing questions. And three, the teacher leads students to cognitive engagement through cultivated conversation and meta-awareness. Throughout the video, We'll keep returning to these criteria and building on them to help us customize this routine for our students. Let's see CoCraft questions in action. Imagine you're a student in an Algebra 1 lesson and about to experience CoCraft questions. To engage as a student during the model, please access the note catcher to record your ideas. Now that you have your note catcher to record your ideas, let's start the model. I will play the role of the teacher applying CoCraft questions. And I will narrate the steps of the routine and he models. The teacher will model two steps first. He will start with a hook, a context or stem for a problem without a direct question being asked. A hook can be a picture, video, or even a list of interesting facts. The point is to get them interested in the math behind the context. Then the teacher will ask students to write down possible mathematical questions that could be asked about the situation. Take this moment to access your note catcher. To follow along, here's the teacher applying the routine. All right, everyone, I need you to close your devices for just a moment while we think about this scenario. To prepare for a backyard party, a parent uses two identical hoses to fill a small pool that is 15 inches deep and a large pool that is 27 inches wide. The height of the water in each pool is a function of time since the water is turned on. Take a moment to think about this yourself. What mathematical questions could you ask based on this information? Pause the video and write one down on your note catcher. For the third step, the teacher will ask students to compare questions with a partner and select questions to share and discuss with the whole class. Let's see the questions we all come up with. What do these questions have in common? You might have noticed our questions tend to represent time in various ways. How are they different? You may notice that our questions need different types of answers, like a number, a function, or a word. In the final step, the teacher will reveal the questions students are expected to work on. Let's see him do this. Here's the rest of the task. Mm -hmm. 
Access your note catcher, read it and ask yourself, what does this task ask of us? What does this task ask of us? How does it connect to the questions you came up with? Pause the video now to do so. You may have identified that we're sketching the graph for three situations. You may also notice the task introduces new terms, height as a function of time, coordinate plane and constant rate. Let's challenge ourselves to use these terms when expressing our ideas going forward. What you just experienced is an application of CoCraft questions through a series of intentionally planned steps. Check your understanding of the routine with a few questions. Summarize the routine as a series of four steps. Pause the video to give yourself time to think. Access the note catcher to record your thinking. And unpause it when you are ready to check your understanding. Be the teacher who applies this routine by first presenting minimal context to hook the students. Then have students write any mathematical questions that could connect to the situation. After, have students compare their questions with a peer and whole class. Finally, reveal the original task question to begin solving. Let's try another one. During the routine, what are the teacher and students thinking about? Pause the video to give yourself time to think. Access the note catcher to record your thinking. And unpause it when you are ready to check your understanding. You probably noted that teachers created opportunities for discussion and students reflected on their thinking. Those are actually principles of the CoCraft Questions routine. Cultivating conversation and maximizing meta-awareness. Take a moment now to reference your CoCraft Questions guide as we explain these two principles. By sparking mathematical interest through conversation, we open opportunities for student-to-student -student interaction in multiple ways that scaffold how they make meaning of the mathematical context. These conversations make learning more authentic and emphasize mathematical language development. Concurrently, we facilitate opportunities for students to maximize their meta-awareness. That's the conscious thinking about their own thought processes and language use. This looks like students using and refining their mathematical language during conversation to be better understood and to access the mathematical thinking of their peers. Great instruction starts at the planning level, and while we'll look at all three criteria in this process, we'll zoom into the process of planning for mathematical language. Access the note catcher and guide now to reference the full task once again. The CoCraft Questions routine takes the pressure off of producing answers by inviting students into the context first. Some curricula have built-in guidance for this routine, like the RAISE curriculum. But if you're wondering how you can bring this into your classroom now, let's see what makes an activity a good fit for this routine. So, how do you plan a grade-level task worthy of cultivating conversation and maximizing meta-awareness? Let's see another model. Here's the Algebra 1 task from before. I selected it because I believe it cultivates conversation and maximizes students' meta-awareness. Why? Well, the first thing I notice about this task is that it uses a context, filling two pools with water, to practice creating graphs of functions. Then I notice the term function might be inaccessible for some students. This is where I want to leverage what students already know. Since this task starts with the context and notes the concept of a function right at the start, I'll provide access to just the first two sentences of the task. This is my hook that will promote conversation. Students must interpret what's there and what they believe could be solved. Next, I'll have students post questions and compare them. Since there's no right answer here, the conversation should be open-ended. And since students will likely notice the relationship between time and height, I provide a scaffold to discuss the concept of a function. When I reveal the rest of the task, 
they are better able to graph functions given the conversations they've already had. Importantly, this routine will avoid simply getting answers and challenge students to discuss the concept of a function in a deeper way through their shared mathematical language. Check your understanding again. Is the goal of cold craft questions to solve a mathematical task? Pause the video to give this some thought. Access the note catcher to record your thinking. And unpause it when you are ready to check your understanding. No, cold craft questions is not used to solve tasks or merely answer getting. Rather, it's about providing opportunities to develop language and reasoning skills. The task provides the context in which students do this. We encourage you to use what we've modeled to now plan and apply a task that you will teach. The RAISE curriculum is full of rich tasks that cultivate conversation and maximize meta-awareness through co-craft questions. Access the RAISE curriculum now to first identify a task for this routine that you will teach. Select an appropriate task, remove the question, and ask yourself, is there enough information to prompt a range of mathematical questions from students? In other words, hook students into the context. And what mathematical language should I expect students to use when discussing their questions? Pause the video now to identify your task and return to advance when ready. Now that you have a task, Access the CoCraft Questions Guide to inform your planning. Access the RAISE Guide now and specifically the Plan Columns Mathematical Language Questioning and Cognition Criteria. Using the guide, first plan to introduce the task or the hook by providing only as much of the task for students to create questions. Second, plan to present the task information without the action prompt engage students in conversation, and facilitate a greater awareness of the mathematical terms in the task. Finally, plan to reveal the actual problem. Pause the video now to plan your application and return to advance when ready. What could it take to improve this routine even further? Optimizing this routine means getting the most out of student conversation and meta-awareness, and there are a few ways you can go about doing that. Let's zoom into one of the ways we can optimize the questions generated from this routine. Access the note catcher and guide now to reference the full task once again. Recall that we first presented the limited task information to hook students and immediately asked, what mathematical questions could we ask based on this information? After students proposed questions, we had them compare what was similar or different. Finally, we revealed the actual task prompt to end the routine, and this is a space to optimize conversation and meta-awareness even further by asking, how does the actual task prompt connect to the question you came up with? This is really effective for developing mathematical language. Students should be talking to get the opportunities to both express their understanding and process their peers' understanding as well. We set the purpose to make algebra accessible to all students. We also looked at and engaged in the criteria for effective implementation of CoCraft questions. Now, it's time for you to determine your next steps. Where will you focus your energy to effectively implement CoCraft questions for your students? First, reference the guide before we ask you to consider these questions. If you are new to this routine or just beginning to identify tasks in which to cultivate conversations between your students and maximize their meta-awareness, then begin here to identify paths and plan for those opportunities. Once you have identified a task and described how it will develop students' sense-making and meta-awareness, begin here to define the major steps of using CoCraft questions in your classroom. When you are ready to apply the routine in your lesson, you are here. When you are seeking to optimize your ability to implement the routine, 
and stretch students into deeper conversation and meta-awareness of their thinking. You are here. When you have reached a place where co-craft questions are a normalized routine, and you would like to extend the effectiveness to other dimensions of the mathematics classroom, you are here. Review the resources listed at the end of this video. We enjoyed sharing this routine with you, and we're hoping you apply CoCraft questions to provide access to algebra for all students.